Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Blue Lock episode 20. So we have Team Rin versus Team Isagi coming up. I'm not going to lie, I'm really hoping that Rin eats a slice of humble pie. <laughs> he's starting to piss me off. I know, he's a bit too much, isn't he? He's, he's a bit like too confident. And... He's just playing for all the wrong reasons. Do you know what I mean? And I, I hope we see some character development on his end because he's just bringing the vibes down. He's lucky to be playing alongside Butchita. I'm hoping That's maybe right. I'm hoping maybe Butchita can um, be the one to get through to him. Because you just see Butchita play and he just has so much fun. So you never know. He could change his ways, but it's not looking likely at this stage. If you guys are interested in signing up to our Patreon, you'll gain three to four weeks of early access to our current shows, and you'll also find reactions that are exclusive to our Patreon. If you're interested, you can check out our link in the description below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Carly, don't be deceived. The dude is psycho. <laughs> oh, this is about to be epic, man. No. We haven't thought of who the other team's going to take if our team loses. Interesting. I hope it's going to be Asagi. Hmm, Butchita up front. <gasps> the princesses meet. I never considered this. Wow. <laughs> the laws of glam. This is brilliant. How did we not think of this? The glam fam. Oh, he doesn't okay. like it. Okay. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> this guy's too much, man. He's already lost the game before it started. <laughs> I hope Barrows are well behaved this game. Barrows going to think that he can boss this dude around. <laughs> now nah, he'll out muscle Barrow. I can yeah. see it. Yeah. This is a lot. We've got a lot of uh, energy happening before the game. He wants him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he wants this guy. He needs to discipline him. <laughs> The voice actor's gone crazy. Oh, he's gonna take Rin? Oh, that's sick. Wow. Let's go, Nagi. I like that. Nagi's the best player on our team, so I think that makes sense. Oh, no! Okay, I love the way this is set up. Oh. Oh. Yeah. A lot of step overs. Not anymore. <laughs> so he's seen him play a lot, so he should know a lot of these skills. It's still very hard to track, though. Mm. He's so, like, nimble. Blunt bags. Oh shit. Yeah, Barrow's evolved too. I'm not sure that was the smartest play. Oh, 
course he was going to pass it to him. Oh! <laughs> anti-combo. Anti-combo, that's so anime. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's that's clever. It just come off him just to see where he might go. Oh. Let's go. Did you just um. call him Red Panther? <laughs> oh no! He better not hurt his leg. Nice, all this is missing is his uh, soundtrack. Oh, you're probably so upset about that. I am. Okay, it's not his moment just yet. A oh, beautiful goal. That was, go. that was set up from Nagi. Like, rather than yeah. control it down, he just passed it straight off. All their instincts were really, like, up in that play there. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. The tougher the game gets, I think the better Bachita becomes too. Yeah, he definitely thrives in that sort of situation. This happened last time too. Pretty sure they scored the first goal. Okay. While the other team are just sussing things out. Yeah. <laughs> he looks so chill. Mm. Oh. Oh, I faked him out. No look pass. Love oh. that. What a ball. Oh my god. Dude, that ball gosh. was insane. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> He's not getting pushed off the ball though. Yep. Yeah, he's meeting it. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Rin. Oh, no. The Attack on Titan music Wrong came in. Wrong <laughs> Oh, the fake shot. Oh, they're stuffed. Oh no. Budget is in behind for sure now. Come on now, you cheeky, cheeky man. <laughs> He's throwing everyone off their plan, just him. He's just embarrassed the whole team. Yeah. Fake shot past two of them. Or fake pass. It's rude if you think about it. <laughs> yeah. Fake shot at one, fake pass the other, and then like chipped it over a Sagi there. It was a pretty glam goal, I will say. That was definitely Attack on Titan theme music, right? It had to have been. <laughs> you say big girl, very similar. Is that what it's called? That's true. That's well, if true. It, yeah, if anyone's going to be able to, it's him, right? Cross goal. Oh, nice. Oh, where did you come from? He was probably doing that when he was five, man. No, he's going to do the, the cross. Okay, no, he just passed it. <laughs> I thought he was going to do the thing that Barrow did. <laughs> Who's running onto it? Not going in the goals, is it? The guy on the wing? Yeah. Wow. The curve on that ball was beautiful. Oh, come on, Chiggity. He's going to hit it first time. 
He's got to meet it. And then... Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I bet you I knew he could do that, of course. Yeah. That was epic. Shit. Oh, Bachida, no! Bachida can really bring out the best in all these players. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so the funny. One glam special. Tengen's voice actor plays a character that's so similar to, yes, to Tengen in this guy. Uh... Yeah. Oh shit! A soundtrack. Okay. He's about to level, level the game up for sure. There's a true battle going on there. Mm. Yep. I love the oh, soundtrack of this show, man. I love this so much, Fanagi. Oh, the dummy! That was sick! <sighs> Come on, he can't possibly get there, no. Did Rin do something? Oh, no. no, that's mental! Kali, he's cut underneath the ball to make it spin. Oh! So he's fake shot it. It looks like Rin moved it somehow. Oh. That was the best goal in the, in the show! Oh my gosh, I have to go wow. back and see that. I'm pretty sure he, like, shot under the ball and it just spun a heap. So we'll he kept it. have to revisit it, definitely. He still held possession of the ball. What the heck? <laughs> oh, oh, he's yeah. mad. He's mad. Oh, no. Right. Yeah, but now he's about to level up. No, he's not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> Rio's like the, the complete package, isn't he? He's like, Rio? yeah, he's like well dressed, very smart, yeah, fast learner. He's a bit clingy. Yeah. Yeah, True. he wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, so we just went back, and I just wanted to confirm exactly what Nagi did. Yeah. And I was trying to use the example uh, with Carly about ping pong, essentially, or table tennis. You know, when you're like just playing with the ball and. Chopping yeah, underneath you chop it. it, like from underneath. Yeah, and it the backspin kind of holds it in the same spot. Yeah, Nagi's done that, so he's faked the shot, and Rin has then dived in to tackle it, and the ball has just come down, and now he's just smacked the shit out of it. That is the best goal so far. Yeah, that was so definitely. good. Nagi's definitely untapped. We saw with the uh, additional time as well. Rio was super surprised that Nagi somehow finished second to Rio <laughs> when he was just dozing off the whole time. Yeah. So the guy is definitely gifted mm. for sure. The problem is now Rin is about to meet the challenge and probably level up as well. He didn't like that he scored. On even him. though Rin was there. Yeah, exactly. The fact that he had a goal scored directly on him killed him. I think he only scored because Rin underestimated him. Actually, no. I'd like to think that... He didn't only score because of that, but now Rin knows what to look out for. I don't think that will happen again. Yeah, probably not. I think Rin just maybe didn't expect Nagi to be that good. Yeah. Did someone tell me that Nagi has the same voice actor as Mahito? Was it Nagi or Isagi? One of the two. Mahito's voice actor is in here. Oh, no. I need to try and <laughs> hear it. He's doing a good job of um masking it, to be mm -hmm. honest. But yeah, it's interesting. They they made a comparison. Unagi made the comparison to Rin and Isagi that 
both their vision is actually pretty equal. It's just Rin yeah. is better physically. Like we know, Isagi doesn't really stand out uh, with his speed, strength. Like he doesn't really have any of that. How could he possibly be better than Rin then? Because that's something that I said during the episode was that he can't really help that unless he really dedicates a lot of time into training and stuff like that. Even then, he can't yeah, some, grow taller. Yeah, sometimes genetics, like, help you out soon. There's nothing you can do about that. Like, Yeah. The only way that he could be better than Rin is by being better at that skill that they both have. Yeah, correct. He's got to outsmart him. Like, that's the only way, yeah. right? Uh, I really like what they did with Rin and the <laughs> Attack on Titan-themed <laughs> music. So we have heard that the author did base Rin off Erikasa. Yeah, a hybrid between Mikasa and Eren. And you can definitely see that. Yeah, he's got Mikasa's hair and um, similar features to Eren's face. I think it's almost like a an entire mix. Like, it really yeah. looks like a hybrid all the way through the face. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, they were definitely doing something there with the music too, for sure. That had to have been some sort of Easter egg, I reckon. Um, <laughs> Do you think so? Yeah, because the, <laughs> the soundtrack didn't really have those ominous sounding... True, true. Always tease and stuff like that until he started controlling the it ball and getting him. ready. Oh, it does, hundred percent. So that's pretty exciting that we're gonna probably see him. Maybe not at his max, but we're gonna see him try quite hard because in the first game that we saw, he was just kind of in second gear the whole time. Yeah. This match, he's barely gotten going. So I think we're mm-hmm. gonna see that coming up in the next few episodes. I do think that this match will take us close to the end. I think so too. Yeah. I'm assuming there hasn't been that many times where Rin has actually needed to give more effort than he's needed to. Yeah. So, if anything, maybe Nagi is going to be the player that changes Rin's mindset a little bit and, like, helps him to maybe have some fun or... I don't know. Put some heart into it. He just said that he was frustrated and, Mm. um, yeah, that's really ticked him off. And now I I guess we'll get to see what he can really do. Butchered was pretty impressive in this game too. He's got a yeah. really, really good knack for finding a, a killer pass. Yeah. He's a very good distributor. We saw in the earlier episodes that he was on all of the set pieces. He was on the corners, the free kicks. He's got a really good pass on him as well as well as his skill. We saw that, that sort of curve that he can put mm. on the ball. And then Ariu, I think his name was, had yeah. that sort of... It took that header very early. Uh, he's got a good vertical leap on him. So that was pretty cool as well. But... I think in terms of MVP, what Nagi did there, that's Nagi. next level. It's got to be Nagi. Yeah, it would feel wrong giving it to anyone else. Yeah, that's the first character that's kind of um, humbled Rin. Yes. So, And that's what I was actually calling for at the start of the episode. Mm-hmm. It's got to go to Nagi, the MVP, I think. Now, at the start of the episode, you started floating some ideas, or you were just asking the question, if Isagi's team were to lose, who would Rin? Well, I don't think Rin would really care, but who would they choose? I'd imagine they'll probably choose... Well, after this episode, it seems like Nagi. However, yeah. I feel like um, if they're going to prolong the game till the end of the season, then everyone's going to get their time to shine. Yeah, okay. But, I mean, Butchita would want to reunite with Isagi, right? Yeah, but he doesn't get the final say. They all have to agree. Rin doesn't care. It'd be the yeah, other two. Yeah, true. It'd be the other two. I'm going to go ahead and say it's not going to be Barrow. Yeah, no. So Chigiri, Nagi, and Isagi. I don't get the vibe that it would be Chigiri. I think it would be between Nagi and Isagi. I think it's too early to say. Yes. Because we don't know who's going to unlock more powers and stuff like that. Yeah, okay. In the next episodes. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.